Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of Python full stack course for beginners. So let's get started. So guys this video is continuation of the previous video and so make sure to check that out link in the description. So guys I got a suggestion in my previous video to use chatterbot module and uh, I have to say I'm impressed because that module is really helpful. So thanks to whosoever person it was. So the first thing we're gonna do is just quickly install that module so I'm just gonna say pip install chatterbot and it says requirement already satisfied because i already installed it uh you um there will be many processes going on and if it installs in the first trial then you're really lucky because uh in either of my systems it took me a while to install them because it was somehow not compatible with windows in python 3.9 so i had to degrade my python to python 3.8.7 and i had to change my spacey version spacey is just another module which is simultaneously installed when you use chatterbot module so what are we going to say is we're going to simply say from my chatterbot module this import my chatbot similarly i'm going to say from my chatterbot module we need to train on model so i'm just from my trainers i'm just going to import my chatbot corpus train now we need to create an object of a chatbot so i'm just gonna name my mod uh, instance chatbot and i'm gonna set it equal to my chatbot which is the which is which we just now imported and we need to pass the name so name can be anything i'm just gonna put alicia which was my bot name now let's define a trainer so my uh, trainer is just a variable and i'm gonna set it equal to my chatbot corpus trainer nice and we need to pass the chatbot object which is my chatbot okay now from a trainer i need to sim from a trainer dot train and we need to open and close parentheses and we need to train some stuff so i just wrote a couple full of stuff you can just uh, copy and write it i just made it available for greetings and for conversations you uh, there are plenty full of more options available you can check them on google now a word is ready now let's see how can we use it so in our true command we can just say speak out for us my chatbot object dot get response and it will get response whatever we will type in it so i'll just pass in my query so like whatever we said it will just get response of it and simultaneously i'm gonna print the response print let's try running it it's training the model hi could be better how are you i am doing well so am i sorry couldn't recognize could you speak that again okay shut up okay so as you see uh, it ran correctly and it's really helpful and it's really faster than that uh, than the process we were doing earlier now what are we going to do is we are going to also import one module which is one built-in module also named as os so i'm going to say import os it's built-in so we need not to install it now what are we going to say is we're going to create one if statement we're going to bring back our your name function so we just did it in the last video so i'm going to say i'm going to simultaneously print it so i'm just going to say print out the same thing and we need to pass after that make sure to do this because it's the must situation now what i'm doing is like we'll just pass certain conditions here and if none of the condition is followed then we are going to pass it to the chatterbot module so after that i'm gonna say else and indent them and we're gonna create one elif statement and in elif statement i'm gonna say like um, if my open notepad in my sorry in my query dot lower so if you remember this lower function is used to just lowercase whatever the string or anything is so like let's say if i speak open notepad then it may or may not take notepads in as uppercase so open notepad with uppercase n is not equal to this open notepad so that's why i'm just making it dot lower so once this happens i wanted to say sorry speak opening notepad 
and I'm gonna OS dot start file. The start file is just used to start a file. So I'm just gonna quickly say notepad and I'm just gonna open its file location, copy its path and um, as you can see the file name is notepad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pass the location, put it in string and we are gonna make it an R string. Like we have F string, we have R string and I'm gonna just pass my notepad so notepad uh, that notepad file didn't have an extension so we can just put it like this and let's try running it look okay, it's training open notepad for me opening notepad the n is uppercase here and notepad's open that's where we want it similarly we can open certain apps we can just copy this statement and i'm gonna paste it over and i'm gonna say open word so opening word ms word i would say ms word and i'm gonna specify the location of my word here's my word i'm gonna say open file location just copy the path and as you can see the name is word with w as uppercase paste it over and say my word hmm works fine so let's try running it okay i just removed one double quotation mark here let's try running it okay it's training again open word actually it recognized my word opening as MS word. word and it says opening ms word let's see if it opens and yeah as you can see it opened up okay so it works perfectly fine i'm just gonna kill it now it's done now let's create one more function let's import one module date time first so i'm just gonna import date time so pip install it if you don't have it now i'm going to create one function define wishing so what this wishing function will do you'll know now so we are going to define one variable r and we're going to set it equal to date time date time dot now dot r so this now returns us all of the units and we're just going to fetch the r so this r will be equal to the present r now we're gonna say if my r is more than or equal to 6 so it's a 24 r format let me tell you if you don't know and my r is more than or equal to 12 sorry i said uh, if my r is less than or equal to 12 then it's obviously morning going on right so i'm gonna say speak out for me so i'm just saying Good morning, sir. How can you help at the moment? So it's morning. That's why I'm saying it's now I can create one else statement and I'm just going to copy it from here. Control C and V. And I'm going to say if my R is more than or equal to 10 and less than or equal to like, let's say 14. No, I would say 16 rather. So it's afternoon. Now I'm going to copy the statement, paste it two times over and I'm going to set it equal to 16 and this as 24. It's totally your choice. When do you consider your night? So I guess 10 would be 22 would be fine for me. You can set it as, as much as you want. So I'm going to say good evening till 10 because it's like that for me. In else, now we're going to create an else statement like if it's not like that then it's obviously more than 10 and less than 6 then i'm gonna say good night sir and why i'm saying good night i'm gonna say so i'm just saying good night sir i would prefer you to sleep at the moment because it's already too late okay so uh, you can obviously change it as your wish now when the bot runs i will just call this once so whenever the bot runs i'm just gonna call this for only once i'm not gonna put in the while loop because um then it will speak whenever a command is followed so let's try running it it's training good afternoon sire how can i help you at the moment okay as you can see what's your name my name is alicia okay open notepad for me opening notepad open word for me opening ms word i love you I love exploring my hardware. Hmm, nice. Sorry, couldn't recognize. 
Could you speak that again? So as you can see, the board is working perfectly fine. So guys, the like goal for this video is at least 10 likes because I don't know why you guys don't like my videos. Uh, also guys, I'll be uploading this video today, which is 30th January and I'll be uploading one more video tomorrow. And after that, I'll go on hibernation. And when I say hibernation, then I mean that um, it's my exams coming up so i won't be able to upload in whole of the february i'll be uploading videos again in march so it's kind of hibernation for me also uh in my next video is going to be how to implement the bot for discord so make sure to check that out um maybe um maybe in 24 hours from now or so and also if the like goal doesn't reaches up to the mark um, by next month then I'll probably have to close my series and I won't be making any more videos in my Python full stack course for beginners okay so like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't subscribe and share for more and I'll see you guys in the next video